everyone, I'm Lisa Broadway Fangirl Extraordinaire, and thanks for joining me for another episode of PNC Broadway and Columbus's Broadway Dish. Today, we're chatting about the Pleasure Guild's production of Disney's The Little Mermaid, Jake Gyllenhaal's monologue mishap, and the reimagined return of Rodgers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma to Broadway. Let's dive right in. Pleasure Guild's presentation of Disney's The Little Mermaid opens tonight at the Palace Theater. The show stars our friend and most recent star of our latest episode of Carpool Karaoke, Andrew Levitt, who some may know as Nina West, as Ursula. The musical runs through Sunday and all ticket proceeds support Nationwide Children's Hospital. To purchase tickets, swim on over to the Kappa Ticket Center or go online to Ticketmaster.com. Oscar nominee Jake Gyllenhaal is currently starring in an evening of back-to-back -back monologues at the Public Theater. On Tuesday, Gyllenhaal appeared on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon to discuss his Public Theater debut and recalled a chivalrous encounter with an audience member. He explained that a woman was coughing loudly during the show and in the middle of his monologue, Gyllenhaal stopped and asked her if she was okay. He then ran off stage and got her a glass of water. There really is nothing like live theater. Celebrating its 75th anniversary, the beloved musical Oklahoma is returning to Broadway for a limited engagement starting April 7th after a successful run at St. Anne's Warehouse in Brooklyn this past fall. The show recently announced its complete cast, which will star a majority of actors from the St. Anne's production, including Rebecca Naomi Jones as Lori and Damon Dono as Curly. The show is described as Oklahoma as you've never seen or heard it before, orchestrated and reimagined for the 21st century, featuring a cast that embodies the true diversity of America. And that's it for this week's episode of PNC Broadway and Columbus's Broadway Dish. Make sure to like this episode and share it with all of your Broadway-loving friends. We'll see you again next week. Bye.